What's up guys? This is R. Cipriano back with an informational uh, video actually. Uh, I think it's important that this topic is brought up a little more often uh, because when you have all these reviews and things on YouTube and you people, new vapors see all this new technology, you know, they're sitting home with a little ego or a sigalike and they see all these rebuildables and mech mods and uh, wattage mods and DNA 20 mods and all these tanks and adjustable airflow and all these things and rebuilding and it's overwhelming and it's more now because I was overwhelmed when cartomizers and wick tanks were out and things like that and now new vapors being overwhelmed by rebuildables? DNA 20 mods? Are you kidding me? These poor people coming into vaping, they're like, what the hell is this? What are we, what, what is this subculture that I've stumbled upon? Like, seriously, I mean, it's becoming a subculture, uh, and there's so much information, and vapors are always informative and friendly for the most part, and they'll educate new vapors, but I mean, damn, uh, some new vapors are, you know, aren't very involved on the internet and stuff, so like, what the hell are they doing for all this overwhelming, for all this overwhelming information? So I figured I'd take the time to make a video uh, for those new beginner vapors who are maybe stuck on a single like or a little ego or something like that, and they want more. They want to move on, but they don't know what to move on to because there's so much crap out there that's too advanced for them. Uh, so my recommendation uh, is watch this video. If you're experienced, you could sit back with some popcorn, roast some marshmallows if it's if it's winter by you and just watch the video but if you're a beginner stay attentive and please watch this video because you won't regret it uh, so guys you know what time it is okay welcome new vapors we come in peace sorry for that unnecessary intro there uh, anyway Microcoil build cotton wick, 100% organic cotton on a ProTank 2 Mini. Never ProTank 2 Mini with its regular coils never worked so well ever in its existence. In my vaping equipment, never worked that flawlessly. I have a DIY vanilla custard that I put in a halo bottle. Amazing. All right, so if you're watching this video and you're a beginner, you're probably stuck with something that looks like this. Um, now why? Uh, because this is usually, you know, you're trying to get off of cigarettes, you want something that looks like it. Uh, but you have starting to notice that it doesn't taste like it. So you realize you have to experiment a little more. Um, now, you want more. You feel like you're not satisfied. Whoop, there it goes. You're not satisfied with the Sigalike. I don't even have a cartomizer for it. Um, and I usually don't recommend these for people who want to get into vaping because they're not satisfying. So my recommendation is to move on to something like uh, just a run-of-the-mill 650 Ego series battery. That's it. One button, click it five times off, click it five times on, and just press it once to fire. Uh, that's it. No voltage options, just no ohm reader, nothing. Just Ego battery charger. And you could get like a Stardust, a 1.8 ohm Stardust. Um, you get a low resistance Bogue cartomizer. Uh, you get a Cardo tank with a low resistance cartomizer in it. Uh, you have a few more options now. So, okay, now you've had your Ego 650 mo battery. Uh, you love it, whatever, but you want more now. Uh, so, I recommend you start getting your feet wet with variable voltage. Now, what is variable voltage? That sounds fancy schmancy. Uh, no, it's not that fancy schmancy, but it's good. Uh, variable voltage, you could dial in. You have a different ohms. You could dial it in to that specific ohms. You could get your sweet spot for your juice. It's pretty much like setting your temperature almost, uh, but it's your voltage. Uh, the lower the ohms, the lower voltages you go. So I usually recommend people get a Vision Spinner or an Ego C Twist. I have an Ego C Twist, but it's downstairs right now charging, uh, so I don't have it with me, but I have this purple Vision Spinner, and it goes from 3.3 .3 volts to 4.8. For a beginner getting your feet wet with variable voltage, that's enough for you. That's perfect. Uh, so now you could get... Uh, let's say you were to get something like a Vivi Nova, right? They come with three different resistance sets. So, 1.8 ohm you could use, you know, around 3.7 volts, something like that. 
Uh, the 2.4 ohms you could use around 4.2 volts, 4.3, uh, and then the 2.8 ohms you could go up to 4.8 volts and things like that. And you could experiment up or down to on each of the uh, you know voltage recommendations that I said for that specific ohms. Uh, but now you have a few more options opened up even more because now you can use higher resistance. Uh, so now you have like a pro tank, right? Let's say this is a regular pro tank. 2.4 ohms as they usually come, uh, but this is a 2.2 ohm micro coil. Uh, so let's say it was 2.4 ohm. Right now I'm going to crack it up to 4.3 volts, which is what I'd usually put a 2.4 ohm head on. Uh, so we have 4.3. Absolutely amazing, and that's not an all VG juice either. It's working really well. Uh, so there's that. You want variable voltage? There you go. You could get a bunch more tanks now. Uh, and I'll have a video on what tanks you should get as you move on separately from this. This is just batteries and stuff. Uh, so now you have variable voltage, but you want wattage. And now you have a choice. If you want to stay in the small form factor, you get an it taste VV V3. Why? Because it's square instead of round like this, but it's the same length pretty much, except now you have an ohm checker, you have variable wattage uh, from 6 watts to 11 watts. Uh, you have voltage on that too. Uh, you could check your ohms. Tells you how much voltage you have left on your battery, and it tells you how much battery charge you have left. Uh, and it's an amazing vape. You can use it as a pass through as well, which is not a real pass through, but you could vape it while it's charging. Uh, but if you want to get into a big beefy mod, something that like this, uh, then that has wattage as well, then I have a few recommendations. If you don't want wattage, you want voltage, and you want to spend, you know, the pretty high price, I would say get a Pro Vary. Uh, or the, you know, get a Provary. That's awesome. It's great. Uh, but if you want wattage as well and you don't want to spend too much, get a Vamo V5 or a Smoke Tech SID. Um, or you don't care about spending the price and you want a higher quality, get an iTaste SVD. You could get one of these. Uh, you could get uh, a lava tube, which is a little more expensive. I usually say this because it's at the $100 point for the kit and it's a great vape as well. Uh, if you don't want a round mod, you can get something like this, like the MVP, which is a square mod. Uh, you could get uh, an E-pipe or something like that and just put a kick in it. Uh, you could get a bunch of different things. My recommendation is get an SVD. If you don't want to spend that much, get a Smoke Tech SID or a Vamo V5. Uh, if you, you know, don't care about spending a lot of money, get something like a Pro Vary, even though it doesn't have wattage, it's great. Uh, or, you know, a DNA20 mod, but we're not going to talk about DNA20. It's basically like you could use low ohms on it, but it's a protected device and it goes up to 20 watts. You don't have to know that. It's just a beginner's video. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I really went through pretty much most of the batteries that you pretty much go through. Once you get into the variable voltage and wattage or in the mod stage, then you could just go on the ECF and look up reviews. Because I can't rec obviously I can't recommend a bunch of them because there's a bunch I don't even know about. But that's the beauty of it. You go online, you see this cool mod. Once you get your first mod, you're set. You've you've come far enough that now you could go online and see different mods, and you could buy on your own. You know, do a little research on the side on that specific mod, and you're good. Uh, you see, you'll see how much you learn as you go along. There's so much to learn. It's, it's overwhelming, but you will learn it all eventually. There'll be some areas that you get stuck on a lot. I, I was stuck in re wrapping my mind around rebuildables and sub ohm and stuff for a few months because uh, I didn't figure everything out until just recently. Uh, but you learn. Trust me, you learn and you learn fast. So re I recommend in this video. Uh, you don't have to get, but I recommend if you're trying to move to the next stage, they're inexpensive ways, uh, inexpensive but high quality devices named in this video, um, for the exception of maybe two or one, which would be the Vamo, which isn't highest quality, it's good, but it's not high quality, and an Ego 650, not the greatest quality mod, uh, mod, um, battery, but it is what it is. Alright guys. Uh, I don't want to make this video like a half hour because I know most people don't sit through a half hour. So we're going to start getting into the wrap up phase on, just after I have a vape though. Amazing, amazing. Um, Alright, so I just have a, a little... Alright guys, 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took something from it. I don't want to make it too long as to bore you. I used as much information as you need to get into the next stepping stone. Now, I just have a few tips uh, if you're going to get into certain things. First piece of advice is don't be afraid to experiment with a few things. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of tanks. There's top coil tanks, bottom coil, different e-liquids. Uh, you have fruit flavors, you have beverage, you have savory, you have uh, dessert, you have tobaccos, you have menthols, you have... Did I say dessert? I think I did. But you have a wide... <laughs> you have perfumey, floral... You have so many different types of e-liquids. Don't be afraid to experiment. Get sample bottles, get sample kits, things like that. Just experiment. You know, have fun with it. Uh, it may be just about quitting smoking for some, and you'll just have your one battery, one charger, tank, and one juice, and that's it. But experiment. Go outside of, you know, your usual norm right now. If you don't want to go on a whole stepping stone, you could just put your foot on it and just balance a little bit on it, you know? And if it doesn't feel sturdy enough, you just jump back. But experiment, because you never know what you're going to like in vaping unless you try it. If I never experimented, I would still be stuck on a Sigalike or a Johnson Creek Bea uh, with no voltage options, uh, and just, that's it. Uh, I wouldn't have known as much. If I didn't research as much as I do, I wouldn't know all this stuff. So, even if you don't want to make it a hobby like I do, experiment though. You know, it doesn't have to be a hobby. You can just experiment, buy a few different things, uh, buy some new juice, uh, you know, just... If there's a holiday coming up, get a holiday juice, a bottle of juice for the holidays. You know, maybe Christmas time that just passed just now, uh, you know, get an eggnog flavor or an apple pie flavor or something like that. So, it's it do you in vaping. Everybody's tastes are different, but you, I'm sure if you experiment a little, you'll find exactly what works for you. Uh, it may not happen overnight. It might take a few weeks, a few months, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. Remember, don't be too overwhelmed if you're a new vapor. We're all here to help you. Go on the forums, join the forum, ask questions, comment on my video if you have any questions, um, and just have fun. And remember, guys, let's take this last 10-second vape. Never stop vaping, guys, unless you're trying to stop vaping. All right, if you have any questions comment below, send me a message, whatever you want to do. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. I can't stress it enough. I know it's only my second video, but more will keep coming. Uh, but subscriptions really will keep me motivated. Thanks, guys. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your vapes for the rest of the day. See you next time.